Um, we'll take questions for Avalanche goaltender Pavel Francos. Please use that hand raising feature to indicate if you have a question, we'll start on Zoom. Questions for Pavel? Sasha Kandrak, avalanche.com. Uh, yeah, Frankie, I guess just how much of a relief is it now just to kind of put the regular season behind you guys and, you know, just really focus on the postseason? Uh, yeah, it was a it was a long season, a lot of games. Uh, we collected a lot of wins on the way. That's that's really positive. And uh, we're only looking uh, forward to that uh, most fun part of the year. So we're really happy that uh, okay. it's going to start soon. And and we're really looking forward to that. Any other questions on Zoom for Pavel? Go ahead again, Sasha. Um, yeah, sorry. I guess just how was it getting back in net tonight? Um, obviously, I know you're out for a bit, but just, I guess, how did you feel getting back? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, 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 I wished for a better start for sure. You know, like that was a tough, tough first goal. And, uh, but uh, we battled through it. We were in a tough spot and we were, we were losing two nothing, getting into the five minute uh, a kill. So that was a huge challenge for us, and we responded. We we defended well, and uh, we kind of picked it up from there. And that was a that wasn't a bad game for us after that. Well, now go to questions in person. Uh, hi. What you know? I wanted to ask you about that first goal. What did you see, or what did you not see? Because it looked like Greenway just kind of flung it on net, and it kind of maybe bounced. Did you lose track of it at all, or what happened there? No, I had a I had it in my eyes all the time. You know, I I knew what. What is, what is he going to do? I was just trying to lean to that post and uh, uh, he, I'm pretty sure he was trying to shoot it high, kind of sifted in the net. And uh, there was that that little tiny spot under my skate and he just got through it. So uh, definitely uh, unlucky, unlucky bounce for us. And uh, um, I would definitely love to have that one back. Overall, you guys have been dominant all season, so you guys kind of knew where you were at heading into playoffs. How nice would, was it to have a game like this where some of those guys could get some rest and some younger guys get some minutes as well? Yeah, it was great. Uh, I mean, uh, it's it's perfect if you have that uh, chance that to rest your best players and uh, uh, to get your younger players uh, get to play. And uh, as I mentioned, I don't think we had a bad game tonight. We, we, we were kind of even team to a minute, so... Uh, I think it was it was a positive positive outcome. All right, we'll take questions for Avalanche head coach Jared Bednar. We'll start on Zoom and finish out in person. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Hey Jared, you rested six players in a meaningless game. Was that a no brainer or somewhat hard because you're playing a division opponent, a rival? Well, it was a no brainer for me. I just especially with it being a road game. If it was a home game, maybe we'd do something different. But, um, you know, back-to-back, late-night arrival, um, getting in here last night, and then we'll have another late night coming home tonight. So, um, yeah, uh, in the standings, it didn't mean anything for us. So get, a, you know, a bunch of our guys in that have been sitting out here a little bit lately, give them some opportunity, get a big game in against a tough opponent, and, and less wear and tear on some of the guys we left behind. We've been um, have been playing a lot and playing really well, and you know just thought that we would sort of take that wear and tear uh, off of them for a bit, knowing that we're going to start on um, it looks like Tuesday now. So just give them that extra day of rest. We'll have to get to work on the ice and with some meetings already Sunday Monday. So um, to give them that extra 24 hours to just kind of decompress, get mentally and physically rested, I think is going to be important. Anything else for Jared on Zoom? All right, we'll go to in person. Go ahead. Be sure. I mean, all those players. I'm sure the rest helps any bumps and bruises, but you expect to be fully healthy come game one of the first round. Right? Yeah, we do. Okay. Yeah. Um, what did you make of Curtis McDermott and, and the hit? Not to put you in an awkward spot, but I mean, definitely, could, you know, people look at it and it's it's an aggressive hit, and Marcus Polino being the player that he is as yeah. well. What's your take on that? Well, I saw him. I mean, I think he is doing the right thing going down to pinch that puck. It's wrapped around the boards. Um, I see our guy, you know, going in to try and get both the man and the puck there, like he's headed to the wall. Uh, Felino gets a touch on it. Our guy's kind of spread out going in there. Felino gets a touch on it and then tries to get out of the way. So, um, does it, you know, I don't, I didn't mind the call, like looking back at it, at it, at first I thought it would be a two and him with him trying to get out of the way of it. He gets, you know, they clip legs. 
after looking at it, you know, our guy's pretty spread out. So I understand the five minute major is what it is. He gets caught right in a bad spot because Felino touches it a little bit earlier than what I think he, he thought he would. Okay. Thank you very much. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you.